So I'm here at MCM Comic Con and I'm here with Sandy Fox and Lex Lang, two great voice actors, two great actors. Uh, guys, thank you for uh, letting us interview you. Thank Absolutely. You. Yeah, we're happy to Hello, be here. Hello, everybody. Um, I, you know, I've, I've interviewed a fair few people, but I've never gotten to interview two people who are part of the original Akira English dub. You were both part of that. What That's was, right. What was that like? Uh, well, Sandy had more of a major role than I did, mm. uh, but uh, it was great because I got to play a variety of different characters. Mm. I was listed under the additional voices category, <laughs> but in a film like that, there's a lot of little voices, uh, you know, a line here, a line there. So I got to play a bunch of different characters, which mm. was a lot of fun. What about you, Sandy? Oh, it was amazing. Um, when I look back, you know, mm -hmm. at the time, I didn't know how iconic no, no that film knew. was, right? Yeah. And, and anime was very new mm. in the U.S. We had a, a director um, that brought a lot of those Kevin shows Seymour. over. Kevin Seymour, yeah. And he was the one that really brought that project yeah. over the U.S. He was, he was um, you know, really instrumental in bringing anime to the United States. Oh, wow. He passed away in um, 2014, but... Really, yeah, really, he was, one of the pioneers he was a pioneer. Wow. His name, yeah, Kevin anime, Seymour. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, you've both gone from strength to strength. You're not just in anime. You're in video games. You're in cartoons. Is there is there a favorite medium for the two of you? Is like maybe you, you enjoy more more so? Um, I would say it's really fun to work on an animated piece, mm -hmm. like a mainstream animation, mm -hmm. because they're actually animating to what you yeah, create. Yeah. And so you have more room for improv or yeah. to really, you know, they sometimes they even have animators in the room that watch you and how you move and oh, they yeah, kind they of include it. those yeah. into the into the piece. But um, I love all of it. I'm just it's you get to play all day and yeah. it's really fun. And what about you Lex? Well, I mean you're very prolific with War Greymon, Digimon yeah, especially. Digimon, yeah. War Greymon <laughs> uh, yeah, for me, I think um, I like a variety of it, mm. but but whenever I get to play an iconic character, like, uh, you know, more Greymon's one, but mm. uh, like Batman or Han yes. Solo or Doctor, Doctor Doom. Doom or somebody like that. That was a great show. Yeah, for me, that's, you know, I'm a geek also, mm. like a sci-fi person. I cosplayed as Han Solo the last time I went to a sci-fi. <laughs> so, like, to, to actually voice that character mm. is a dream come true to me. So, yeah, I... I but I also am like Sandy, I enjoy the original animation because not only are they animating to our performance, mm. but we also get to work in, in what's called the theater style environment where we're working alongside all the other actors who play the other mm. characters. Whereas in video games, we're more by ourselves in the booth, same with anime. And in anime, you have to act, but you also have a lot of technique involved because we're dubbing another original animation yeah, from Japan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I mean, you know, uh, did you guys meet at Akira? Is that where you guys no, met? No. no, no, but we did meet through kind of a voiceover story. Oh wow! Um, Lex was actually working on Power Rangers. Oh yeah, yeah, you were big in that. I had a girlfriend that um, was trying to fix us up for at least six <laughs> six months, and she we could never meet. We never mm. met up over never those six connected. months. And we were both separately invited to a big party, like a big Hollywood party, like thousand people. And we met on our own. And uh, yeah, that so was wonderful. Yeah. And once we met, it was like, you know, kismet. Yeah. We uh, <laughs> immediately were fond of each other. Yeah. And when we met at that party, Sandy grabbed my hand. She goes, we got to go call the lady who's been trying to set us up for months. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, just to so. let her know it happened on its own. It's yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, you've been working, you've, you've got a very huge prolific careers. Have there been highlights? Like, I mean, obviously there have been highlights. Can you maybe name a few? Like, for, your, for either of you? Like, I mean, you, you were Betty Boo. Oh, I mean, yes. Like, what? That's, yes. That's, that's, that's an animation icon. Yes, she's, she's the queen of cartoons. Yes. She's the first talking cartoon. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know that. But um, Betty Boop's kind of been like a cartoon angel in my life. Mm. When I was 18, I was discovered in like a, a, in a pub. I was like a hostess. And um, this man came up to me and he says, oh my gosh, you sound just like Helen Kane and Annette Henshaw and these women of the 1920s. Mm. And he asked if I sang and I said, yes, I, I sing. So he said, come and sing with, um, you know, audition for my 1920s orchestra, which I sang a lot of the songs of Betty Boo. Oh, and wow. so that was like the, my first, you know, taste of voicing Betty Boo. 
and then I worked for Universal Studios Hollywood as Betty Boop, and yeah. I toured, you know, Asia, and, and then recently um, I went to Paris to voice Betty Boop for a Lancome commercial, oh, wow. and uh, comic book um, artist Joan Safar, he was the director, and it, you know, so she's always kind of been through my life, yeah, you know, since much like so. 1981. That's so, yeah. that's incredible. And there's still more Betty Boop stuff coming up. So. Yeah, well, again, she's like, I mean, that's the great thing about uh, animation that it, it is timeless. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's absolutely. Just, and so, yeah. what about yourself, Lex? What would you What would you say would be maybe someone who's stuck with you? It's been your Betty Boop angel. My Betty Boop. <laughs> <laughs> Betty Boop angel. <laughs> well, I don't know if I have a Betty Boop angel, I'm but your Betty Boop angel. yeah, she's my Betty Boop angel. <laughs> um, but outside of that. Uh, one of the characters that's been the most fun mm -hmm. is uh, Neo Cortex from the Crash Bandicoot yes. gaming franchise. Yeah. Because when I was brought on board, they said, we're really, you know, we're going to start with the base of the character where it was, mm -hmm. but we want to let you, like, take it, make it more flamboyant, let's add some comedy, improvise all you'd like. Yeah. And so it went from sort of a guy who was in, you know, moody and broody to a very flamboyant, oh, yes, Dr. <laughs> Cortex. You know, it had much yeah. bigger comedy potential you know so that was that was a that's been a real fun role for me over the years and what do your what do your families think when they talk to you you know oh how's it work well I voiced I voiced a giant dragon today yeah <laughs> what are what are they like when you know they see you see your work and they, maybe they talk to their children they go oh you know your uh, your uncle or your yeah. uh, your aunt were there what, what's what's that like well I think our families are real big fans mm -hmm. of us in general I mean they support our greatest yeah. good happening and so um, you know, I did like some of the dinosaurs in uh, Jurassic World, and I did a, a lot of the oh, pr wow. primates in the uh, Planet of the Apes, the Rise of the Planet of the Apes. And so, when we went to see those movies, I went and saw it with my brother. Mm. You know, and we're watching, and he leaned over and go, "Is that you?" you know? <laughs> and then I'd nudge him a little and go, "Right there, that Velociraptor right there that turns his head and like, you know, does like different sounds Are you one and of the things." Ra raptors. Yeah, yeah. Do you know which one? Which well, a, a lot of the scenes, like anytime oh, wow. you see the raptors, especially when they're like no noticing things. That's really cool. Yeah, you know, the, the designer of the sound for that film, mm. when creating the dinosaurs, they literally layer a lot of different sounds, you know, some mechanical, some animal, mm. you know, they, they have, uh, they slow things down, they pitch yeah. things up and down, mm. and then they layer them. So like a little head turn, like I made that sound like a, you know, like it's a little like, it's so tiny cool. sound. They might add like a, a like a low grumble with that. So mm. when it turns around, it's like you know it has. Yeah. I can't do that all with my voice, but um, so it's it's really cool when we we can watch a movie like a big blockbuster and go, oh, yeah, that was cool <laughs> with the family. You yes, know? that is that's that's a lot of fun. Yeah, I don't know if my family. I'm, I come from a very small, little, humble mm -hmm. part of Pittsburgh, little Italian Catholics and. And I don't know if they really know, understand the scope of like Hollywood yeah, and everything if they came we here, do. You know, yeah. that my mom's really proud of me. But um, it's so interesting. The last time I went home, um, in the church, Father John like announced oh, to the no. congregation that Betty Boop was here, <laughs> and he tried to do a boop boopy do, and you know, so it's sweet. You know, it's yeah. nice um, to have that. And is this your first time in Ireland? First time. First time. I was here many time. years ago, but oh, I, wow. this is my first, you know, I consider it my first real time, yeah. you know, because I get to go and travel around the country and be with my wife. Sandy's my wife, too. I don't know yes, if you knew that Yes, if enough. no one knew that, <laughs> Sandy and also. Lex are married. I did, inter yes, I hoped I introduced <laughs> yeah. you like that. I hope I did. Although it's bad journalism on my part. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Yeah, this is my first time. I've always wanted to come to Ireland. Yep. It's been on my bucket list. My great grandfather and grandparents were from here, from Dublin and Cork oh, and um, Galway. But Mc oh, lovely! Are you going to be heading down? Yeah, we're going lovely. to all those places. You're going to love Galway. Yeah, it's always a lot I'm of fun. super excited. So I'm kind of connecting with my Celtic, <laughs> my Celtic roots, my fairy roots. So. Yes. <laughs> and so, listen, guys, thank you so much oh, for letting you. me interview you. It's been fantastic. I mean, like I said before, you guys have been a part of my childhood. You've been a part of many people's childhoods. And, um, you know, just congratulations. And now part of your adulthood. Now part of my adulthood. <laughs> yes. it, it is. It's, it's not kind of, everything kind of comes back around. Yeah. yeah. But guys, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank um, you. Have an absolute it's a real pleasure. Joy. Nice and you know, if anybody you. out there is on Twitter, uh, you can find yep. me at Lex Lang. Yes. And Sandy. At Sandy Fox World. And yeah. be sure to look out for them. Yeah. But you can't really because they're voicing. 
people. So you'll never, you might see them. Listen out for us. Listen out for them. And don't stalk them. No, don't do no that. stalking. No, Just don't do fun that. And feel free to email or say hi or yeah. Facebook us and all that. We love it. Bye, guys. Thank you, bye.